uh, some sad news here at the top. A Silicon Valley legend has passed away. The news was announced last night that former Intel CEO Andy Grove uh, had passed at the age of 79. Andy Grove was the first hire at Intel back in 1968. He later became president of Intel in 1979 and CEO in 87. And in a move that has characterized his brilliance in the tech industry, he was instrumental in taking Intel's successful DRAM business and switching the company's focus entirely to its microprocessor business, a big gamble that basically ultimately resulted in Intel becoming the world's largest semiconductor manufacturer. So really kind of took a gamble early on that really didn't, you know, I mean, I mean, it was exactly that. It was like, this could make or break the company and we're doing okay, but you're making this big change. It's very out of, you know, out of the norm and it ended up being a big success to say the least. Yeah, I feel like he's one of the founding fathers of Silicon Valley. He really is. He was, you know, there from the beginning. And um, he, he was one of the, he wasn't like the Steve Jobs crazy type. He was very calm, like in Walter Isaacson's book, if you read that, mm -hmm. about Steve Jobs. There's a lot of passages where, like, Jobs was kind of going off the deep end. And he, and, and Grove was a mentor to him and really um, calmed him down. Like, you know, they there were notes back and forth to them saying like, well, thank you for helping me along with that project with Pixar and all through the history. It's, it's amazing. And it's, it's definitely a loss. Mm -hmm. I knew who Andy Grove was by name and just associated him with that sort of founding engineer type that came uh, out of Xerox Park in the early Intel Silicon Valley days. But what I didn't understand about him until I really did my homework today was that he created so much of Silicon Valley's culture, the uh, dress down, um, sort of the uh, cubes as opposed to offices. And he, his gift was management. And mm -hmm. nobody really talks about management in Silicon Valley. It's all about innovation, disruption, and entrepreneurship. But he really was the the key facet in making Intel, as it was described, the best managed company in Silicon Valley, and many said uh, in the U.S. And he, he wrote a management book that is a Bible for so many, as he also mentored so many of these up-and-coming entrepreneurs from Steve Jobs to Larry Ellison to Mark Zuckerberg. And uh, the, the book that he really made, he, he took the time to write a book, High Output Management, and just has some great nuggets of detail-oriented management that works with engineers and entrepreneurs. Fix problems when they're small. Um, measure what's important instead of standards. You think about how important metrics and data are um, now. Uh, he really made a point about delegating what you know, but individually take have managers tackle what they don't know. Um, kind of counterintuitive, but just really specific management advice for the modern Silicon Valley environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to say, and you know, you're saying influential uh, on that regard, like to say the least. He's also written uh, another book, Only the Paranoid Survive. And I mean, when you kind of actually read into, uh, I mean, so many things are written about this guy today. Uh, Dean Takahashi, by the way, of VentureBeat wrote up a really just an incredible write up. Um, and when you kind of read, you know, how kind of tech luminaries are responding. I mean, so many of them were directly influenced, um, not only not only by, you know, the, the kind of legacy um, that he led before him, but just kind of his solutions to how you lead a, uh, you know, a successful company and a successful business. Uh, and, you know, he details that uh, very thoroughly, thoroughly in these books. Mm -hmm. So... Highly recommended. Yeah, and when we think about books now, we're like, oh, well, everybody wrote a book. But I mean, this was the mid '90s when only the Paranoid Survived was first written. I remember I worked in a bookstore, and it was the same year uh, that o the Road Ahead, the Bill Gates book, came out. This was the way people communicated back then through mm. books, through memoirs. Yeah, it wasn't, true. you know, there wasn't uh, VentureBeat or you know all sure. these websites that we check every day. So, yeah, definitely a loss. Mm -hmm.